Thursday Thoughts with Coach Bobby. Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another edition of Thursday Thoughts with Coach Bobby. Today's topic is going to be all about prize versus process. The prizes are the things that we want in life, and we all have things we want in life. And as always, I'm going to bring this topic back to fitness and health. But like most of what we talk about, most things that we use as fuel for our fitness goals apply to everything in our lives, to career, to family, to overall uh, personal achievement. So I'm going to I'm going to provide some perspective as far as uh, prizes versus process that will not only help you uh, with your fitness and health goals, but hopefully will help you in all areas of your life. All right. So it's no secret to any of us that we all have goals. We all have we all want things. We all want uh, money. Right. We all want no one. No one wants to be poor. We all want to have money to be able to do the things we want to have the things we want. We all want to have nice material things, not all of us, but a lot of us want, you know, things like nice cars, nice homes, and so forth. We all want to have achievements and accolades, okay? And some of us even want to be famous, uh, have fame and fortune, all right? So we want those things. And as it relates to fitness, most of us want to be fit. Most of us want to have a nice, strong, fit, lean body. But Few of us want to go through the process. Okay, so while all of us want to be and want to have things, want to be something and want to have things, very few of us are willing to go through the process that it takes to achieve those things, right? And then from that small group, even fewer fewer of us are able to stay there, right? To get to the point where we want to be and, and then have the uh, tools necessary to stay there. So I'm here to give you what I believe uh, are the three reasons why the process is so important, integral, really, imperative, really. So I'm going to explain to you why why going through all those trials and tribulations that we go through are necessary to to get to where we want to get, but most importantly, to be able to stay there. So so to get to the process we want, right, to go through all these trials and tribulations, there's three reasons, all right? Number one, along the journey, along the journey, we learn some very important things that allow us to stay there, right? So we go through this long, arduous, at times, journey to get into our goal, and along the way, we learn uh, the missteps. We go through and overcome obstacles. Uh, we face challenges. And throughout all this process, we learn things about the way to get there that once we get there, prevent us from falling back. So that process, that journey, the struggle, if you will, is necessary because we learn the tools and the skills that are necessary to keep us there, right? So we can't avoid those things, guys, if we want to stay there. And we've seen people take shortcuts to get where they want. And because they haven't mastered uh, the skills that are necessary to overcome challenges and obstacles, they aren't able to stay there. All right. So number one, the journey and the process is important because we learn things along the way that are of importance and are imperative to stay there. All right. Number two, along the way, we we go through all this pain and struggle. And in, and in, in fitness, it's it's a literal pain and struggle. Right. And we go through all these things that that make it difficult, that make us want to quit. But the more we sweat, the more we struggle, all those blood, sweat and tears become equity. Right. Become become payments, if you will, so that once we get there, we've paid so much. We've given so much to it that we don't want to give it back. All right. So many of you, all of us have experienced this, I'm sure. So we have bought something. Right. It might be a sweater or a nice pair of jeans or a nice pair of shoes or it might be some jewelry or an electronic device that we pay good money for. And two, three, four five months later, we find ourselves not using it. Right. But because we spent so much money for it, we refuse to give it away or throw it away. And it makes no sense. Right. We're not using it. We don't wear it. But because we've paid so much for this we refuse to let go of it, 
right? And the same is true for our, for our, our, our goals in life, for our achievements. We, the harder you work, right, the more you sweat, the more you endure pain, the more you struggle, the more payments you make along the way, the harder it is to give that away. Okay, so with fitness, it's very important that you understand that what you're going through now, all the pain you're going through, all the struggle, all the frustrations, you know, your weight's not going down fast enough, you're not getting stronger, fa strong fast enough, um, you have, you know, you, you, you're incurring injuries, um, you're missing workouts due to, to work or due to family obligations, all those things, these frustrations, those obstacles, those barriers are payments along the way that once you get there, make it very difficult to go back, right? Once a, a wise man, a wise man once said, or maybe a woman said it, that the further you go, the further you go, the harder it is to turn around and go back. And that's true. The more you pay, excuse me, the more you pay through blood, sweat, tears, the harder it is to give that back. All right, so that's number two. Number one, again, was you have to learn those lessons along the way in order to be able to stay there. Number two, all those struggles become payments, right? Become payments along the way so that when you get there, you've paid so much to get there, you don't want to give it back, okay? And then the final piece that I believe is the most important part of it is this journey that you're on, right, to achieve your goal, in this, in this case, our fitness and health goals, along the way, you begin to identify with the thing you're chasing, right? You begin to identify with what you want to become. You become so driven along the way. You become so unfocused and the habits that are necessary to get there become so entrenched and intertwined in who you are that you become that thing that you're chasing, right? So an analogy, I love analogies. A mother, right, who's pregnant for nine months is a mother well before the baby comes out. And you ladies who've had babies know this, right? Well before that baby comes out and the doctor hits the, hits the butt and it cries and the cord is cut, well before that, you're, you, you're a mother already, right? Doctors who go through, you know, undergraduate and then, and then medical school and then residency, they are a doctor in mind and spirit well before they complete that journey, okay? So, so people who go through this fitness uh, journey Right, and this, and this, um, you know, the travel that they go through, all the, all the ups and downs, and all the trials and tribulations that they go through along the way, they become what they want to become before they get there. So that, that, that struggle is necessary. All right, guys. So those three pieces, I believe, are are the main reasons why we need to embrace, we need to embrace the struggle and and, and embrace the process more than more than the prize because it ain't about the prize the prize will come right but once you get there unless you've changed who you are along the way you won't stay there so the what is important right we're chasing a what we're chasing what we're going to become we're going to become a doctor we're going to become a mother we're going to become a size six or we're going to become a skinny person but along the way what's more important is the who you become the who is more important because the who you become is what's going to keep you there. All right? So I want you to embrace that, right? Because the process is what's going to make you great. All right? The same, it's the same reason that a football player can be great, but on, only until he embraces the process and wants to be better every single day. Not, not, not held to a standard that his coach set, but held to a standard that he set along the way. Only then can he become the greatest receiver of all time, right? In music, it's easy to, to play an instrument. And a lot of people entertain or play music. But those who make it become an entertainer long before they get there. They've, they've become the music they play. They've become the entertainer well before they've reached the pinnacle of their careers, right? And it's the same reason that no matter what I go through in my life, no matter what challenges present themselves in my career, with my family, I'll always be fit because it's not what I do. I mean, fitness and working out 
and and running you know my fitness classes is not something I do it's part of who I am so along the way I've become synonymous if not externally but internally with being fit with being a strong person mentally physically emotionally sometimes uh, internally externally all the things they become intertwined with who I am and how I identify myself all right so I want you guys to really appreciate how special the journey is uh, and embrace it and continue to to have an outlook right and and steady focus on the prize but don't forget that in order for you to stay there in order for you to appreciate it you have to enjoy the process you have to embrace the process all right guys so with that said i wish you guys a, a, a great day uh, a great weekend and i want you guys to continue to to get better every day embrace what we always talk about bty better than yesterday and uh, until next time i hope that you guys have a great weekend and i will uh, talk to you all soon till next time it's coach bobby take care